In this video, Timmy's gonna show you how to enable and use the on-screen keyboard on a Chromebook. If your Chromebook can fold into a tablet, an on-screen keyboard will pop up whenever you put your cursor in a text field, just like on a phone or tablet. But by enabling one simple setting, you can actually make it do this all the time, so that even when you're using your Chromebook as a laptop, whenever you put your cursor anywhere that you can type text, an on-screen keyboard will pop up. All you need to do is open up the Settings app. So we'll go down to the bottom left-hand corner and click on the App Launcher here, and then just scroll down in the App Launcher and find the Settings app and open it up here. And now in the Settings app, there'll be a menu down the left-hand side of the screen here, and you just need to click Accessibility kind of at the bottom of this menu. And now in the accessibility section of the settings, you'll need to find the option that says keyboard and text input. So we'll click on this option here, keyboard and text input. And now in here, there'll be an option to enable the on-screen keyboard. So all you need to do is click on this switch here to turn that on. And now the on-screen keyboard is enabled. So now if we go anywhere that you can type text, like maybe we'll just pull up Google Chrome. Now, if you were to click in this search box to search Google for something, the on-screen keyboard will immediately appear. So now you can use the on-screen keyboard to type something into Google or type a Google doc or an email or type wherever you clicked. So you can use your mouse to click on each letter on the keyboard if you want to. So we could click T, E, C, H to start typing Tech Time with Timmy. And so you can do that if you want to. And it's really quite a slow, painful process clicking on each letter at a time. But if you have no other option and that's your only way of typing, it certainly gets the job done in a pinch, but most modern Chromebooks actually have a touchscreen built in. And assuming your Chromebook has a touchscreen, you can actually just tap the screen and type letters on the screen with the on-screen keyboard, just like typing on a phone or tablet. And there's also some other cool features. If you click on the smiley face icon over here, you get a whole lot of emojis. So any emoji you want to type, you can just click on it here. And over here is your clipboard. So if you copied some text on your Chromebook, that text would appear here. And then you could just click on it and it would paste it straight away wherever your cursor is. And this squiggly line over here is actually really cool. It allows you to write something with your finger on the screen or with your mouse, and it will turn it into typed out text. So if you wanna do that, you can, and it could be pretty cool. And the microphone icon over here allows you to use voice to text. So you might have to click got it if this is your first time using it. But now once it's going, as you can see, you can just speak to your Chromebook and everything you say will be typed out wherever your cursor is. So as you can see, Timmy's cursor is in Google search and everything Timmy says is being typed out here. And it doesn't work perfectly. So after you use it, you might have to go back and fix a few little mistakes, but overall it can be really good to type out the bulk of what you want to say. And when you're done with speaking, you just click that again and it will stop. But aside from all those cool extra features you have, once you're done with typing on the on-screen keyboard and you no longer want it on the screen taking up space, all you need to do is click this keyboard with a down arrow down here in the bottom right hand corner and the keyboard will disappear. And now whenever you want it back again, you can either click on this keyboard icon on the shelf down here, 
because now that you've enabled the on-screen keyboard, this icon will always be here. So you can just click on that and it will pop up whenever you need it. Or if you just click inside a text box or in a Google Doc or an email or anything, the keyboard will pop up automatically. So that's really cool. And that's all there is to enabling and using the on-screen keyboard. But if you no longer need the on-screen keyboard and you don't want it to keep automatically popping up, all you need to do is turn off that same switch to stop it. So if we just minimize Chrome and go back into the accessibility section of the settings in keyboard and text input, all you need to do is click that switch again, and now it's turned off. So now we can go back into Chrome or wherever and click somewhere to type something and the keyboard won't pop up. So you can just use the physical keyboard. But that's all there is to it. So hopefully you found this video helpful. And if you want more Chromebook tutorials like this, you'll find them all in a playlist here.